Hi, my name's Carl from the Suffolk Labs Company and today we're going to do a very short video on Parliament hinges. Um, what they are, what they're used for, where the name come, came from, um, some security issues and also some security solutions. So without further ado, let's get in nice and close and have a look at this, shall we? Parliament hinges have this very um, unmistakable design where you have this sort of traditional sort of double leafed hinge with this cutout sort of um, top and bottom of the hinge. Now the idea of this cutout is if you could imagine you had a door frame and this would sit flush along this point here as a normal butt hinge, when the hinge is closed this section here would be protruding outside of the door. You might ask yourself well why would you do that but the idea is that this projection allows the door to open out in itself and actually um, bypass things like skirting boards. So typically we'll be using French doors, allowing the door to sit flush against the uh, door frame. Uh, also, this is apparently where the name comes from, um, the Parliament hinge as in open door policy. Could be wrong, but I have Googled it. There are, I have heard reports out there that some insurance firms aren't too keen on these. And namely for the fact, if you had some exterior uh, hinges like this and that was exposed um, anybody who had intent to burgle your house could quite easily put a cut down this face here and remove it and yes they're all right but there again any kind of hinge which is exposed and could be quite easily cut and in all reality they're probably not going to try and attack the hinge they're probably going to probably try and attack the lock um, but there are there are solutions out there you can get a thing called a security bolt, and these essentially uh, run down the hinge side of the door, usually two or three, and essentially it's a bolt which goes on one side of the door and a little cup on the other side of the door. So when, it, when a door is closed, uh, the bolt's within the cup. If this is then cupped and removed, and um, the burglar then can't actually pull the door away from the frame. Um, but I, I, I would simply go on to Google and just type in security bolts or security frame bolts, and uh, it'll all be obvious. I hope you found this video useful. Um, we've got other resources on the website, for example, you can go to the dimensions page where you can download our product dimensions and sizes. We also have DWG files, which you can pull out and use for your architectural drawings, etc. Uh, and anyway, thank you for watching and uh, look out for the next video. Thank you.